All right, so today we are going to be making an evergreen branch. You will have a piece of paper and you need a brown crayon. These are the supplies that Mrs. Dykes will give you. But when you're ready, hold your brown crayon in the air. With your brown crayon, decide which side's the back and write your name and the letter of your teacher. When you're done writing your name, flip back over to the front so you can't see your name anymore. All right, so today we're making an evergreen branch. So we did deciduous trees during the remote week after Thanksgiving. Now we're gonna do an evergreen tree. We're also gonna be painting, but do these look like paint brushes? No, so we're gonna be doing some different kinds of painting with different kinds of tools. With your brown crayon though, we're first gonna draw the branch. So make sure your paper is tall, up and down, and from the bottom of your tall paper, you're going to draw a brown line that starts at the bottom in the middle and goes straight up to the middle and stop there. Now we're going to make what kind of will look like an uppercase Y. So you need two diagonal lines, but don't have your diagonal lines touch the edges. So watch first. You'll do one line from the top of your line this way and stop, leave some room. And then this way too, go up, stop, and leave some room. Now that we have our uppercase Y, we're gonna add a few more sticks to this branch. So we're going to add, go on the stem of the Y and do another diagonal one that goes up, kind of in the middle. Once again, stop so it doesn't go to the edge of the page. Then a little lower, do the same thing on the other side. Draw a line, but stop. So that way we have two small branches. And remember, it's okay if yours doesn't look like mine because Branches in real life would be different anyways. Okay. Go ahead and put that brown crayon away. And we're gonna talk about your tools. We're gonna to use our cardboard first and then our Q-tip second. And we're gonna be doing something called repetition. Can you say repetition? Ready? One, two, three, repetition. And repetition means to repeat. It means that there will be many. So we're gonna do many different things on here. And we're not just gonna do a few, we're gonna do, do a lot of them. So what we're gonna do first, I need you to hold your cardboard like this, so that way the shorter end taps the table. Go ahead and tap the shorter end to the table like this. So it should tap the table like that. This is the side we're gonna use to print lots of needles. Remember needles are like the leaves of evergreens. Now look at my paint. It kind of looks like a face actually. See how the paint is very separate? We want to make sure that it stays separate so that our colors don't mix. So when you're dipping and using your paint, I need you to be very careful. Don't do it yet though. So the first color we're only going to use is green. So do not touch the white or the red. You're going to take that short end that you've been practicing and watch first. You're going to dip it into the green paint and then coming out from your branch, you're going to stamp it like that. Sometimes you can do another one without having to dip it again. 
See how my needles are coming straight out? They're not going up. It's as if they're growing out from the stick and going upwards. So you can dip and see how I turn my paper because I want to make sure that my needles go straight out from my stick. Now, my stick changes directions. I still want my needles to kind of go at the same angle outwards. So think of it like a T. So if I wanted to create a T, like this is my top line, I would have to do lines straight down this way. Now, at the edge, see how this has it end to it? You can kind of make a fan. So you can go like this around the edge. And then on this side, keep adding needles. So see how these cross each other? That's okay, because in real life they would cross each other. So you kind of just follow the line and keep adding needles. At the end, you can make a fan and then keep going. Coming out from the line. Only dipping into what color? Green. That's a lot of needles. That's good because we're trying to do repetition, which means to repeat, which means that there are many, many, many of something. And here there are many, many, many needles. When you're done, you can put your cardboard in your green and kind of just leave it sitting there and hold up your Q-tip. Please don't do anything else though with your colors. Just hold up the Q-tip, the clean Q-tip in the air. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, and we're gonna use both sides of the Q-tip, so only use one side right now, we're going to make some red berries. So you're going to dip one side of your Q-tip in the red, and we're going to do them in groups of three. So you can do it right on top of your branch. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three. Kind of like a little triangle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's okay if a little bit of green gets on. Only use this one side though. One, two, three. And one, two, three. You can do a few groups. You don't have to have as many as I do, but try to group them in threes. And when you're done, hold that Q-tip in the air. We're gonna use the other side for white. All right, with the clean side of your Q-tip, the white is going to be snow. So like everything else in this picture, we have to make many snowflakes. And we're not smearing them, we're just gonna be dotting them, kind of like how we dotted the berries. So you can dot, 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 and carefully cover the outside area with snow. You can also do a few snowflakes kind of inside 
are on the branch, but just be careful because your paint is still wet and it might smudge a little bit, but that's okay. When you feel like you have enough snow, put your Q-tip down on your tray too and raise your hand so that Mrs. Dice can come get your evergreen branch. 